What's good, y'all? Shagama Kai. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and every subscriber helps. Over here on this channel, we make daily NBA content. So if you don't enjoy the NBA as much as I do, please subscribe. And today, we're going to be talking about what's my definition of a superstar and what I think should be the broad definition of an NBA superstar. So, you know, as you know, in the NBA, as fans, we like to, you know, rank players. Certain players are role players. Certain players are all-stars. Some Certain players are, you know, stars. And then there's the tippity top of the scale, a superstar. And I feel like the superstar term is, you know, thrown around very loosely. And I feel like only a certain number of players in the NBA should be classified as such. So, in, in my opinion, a superstar is a guy who has monster stats, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know... Scores a lot of points, you know, he's a good defender. Well, superstars don't have to be good defenders, like, like you know, Seth Curry or Damian Lillard or something like that, or Luka. But they do have to have monster stats, but those stats have to be, you know, efficient. And those stats have to lead to winning. So you need to average, like, you know, a huge amount of points. You need to be, you know, an anomaly in something. You need to be just an amazing overall player. But you have to be able to be the number one option on a championship team. Because DeMar DeRozan... He is, you know, a good star because he averages, you know, 22 on good efficiency. But he's not a viable number one option on a championship team. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys like that. Like, there are some borderline superstar guys. Like, you know, Paul Paul George is a borderline superstar. You know, Jason Tatum is a borderline superstar. We're just waiting for them to, you know, take the next step. Not Paul George, though. Because Paul George is, you know, Paul George. He is a viable number one, you know, he is a viable number one option on a contender. But you wouldn't want him as, you know, the best player on a championship team in today's NBA. But I feel like Jason Tatum can take that next step. So that's why Jason Tatum is a borderline superstar. He's just under the threshold. Jimmy Butler is a borderline superstar. He's under the threshold. So to me in the NBA, there are a handful of stars. There's a handful of superstars. LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Anthony Davis, Luka, Jokic, Steph, Dane. That's nine guys right there. Being a superstar is a huge thing. And about those nine guys, they all do something that's incre incredibly effective and it leads to wins and, you know, nearly championships. Not all of them, though. You know, Luka and Damon Jokic will have championships, but there are, you know, moments where these players transform into superstars. Because, you know, coming into last year, I wouldn't have said Dame was a superstar. But after the heroics and, you know, late in the season last year, he made that jump to me because... He really had to put up these amazing, crazy stats, like 30 and 10, you know, on great efficiency. And he was shooting these long ball threes that only him and Steph can shoot. So I think that propelled him into, you know, superstardom because not everybody can do that. And he's doing it and it's leading to wins. They got bumped in the first round, but it led to wins when, you know, when it was needed. And Luka is a superstar because, you know, he's a generational talent. At his size, you know, at his age, at his young age, to be able to, you know, be as crafty of a scorer as he is, you know, as advanced of a passer as he is. And, you know, what holds him back from being better? Obviously defense, but in my eyes, Luka is a superstar. Jokic is a superstar because he's the best big man passer out there. He has a good post game. He can shoot the three. He's just a very, very good player. That's what a superstar is, you know, an amazing top-of-the-line player. Now, some people try to, you know, throw in guys like Russell Westbrook as a superstar or Paul George as a superstar. And they not superstars to me because they're just stars. Like, they're more viable as a number two option than they would be as a number one option. You know what I'm saying? So that's really my whole definition of a superstar. Let me know what your definition of a superstar is. You know, let me know your list of superstars in the comments below. But the definition of a superstar is a player who is well, far and above the rest of the players. Like, Steph... Nobody can shoot like him. Nobody has the off-ball movement like him. Nobody has gravity like he does. That's what makes Steph a superstar. Like, just being an amazing, being an anomaly-type player who's a generational talent. Like, being a player who is just so amazing that teams would love to have you as their number one option on, you know, on a championship team. That's what makes people superstars. There are a lot of stars in the NBA, but there are only a handful, a handful of superstars in the NBA. But, yeah, this is a quick video, you know, just on my thoughts. I can't wait for the NBA games later on today, but uh, make sure you subscribe, man. Like, if you don't subscribe, we have a problem. But anyway, if you take that into the video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.